Good Tuesday evening. Welcome to BCP Live. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad that you are with me today or tonight or whenever you happen to be watching this edition of the Bryan County Patriot BCP Live. We're here at Studio B at Emerald Quest, the world headquarters for Emerald Quest. I'm glad that you're here with me tonight. Thank you to everyone for watching. It was a busy June. And I know we're headed for a busy July. I'm pretty sure some of you all are already busy. Hey, if you're watching tonight, and if you're live, please let me know from where you are watching. Say hi in the comments. I'd love to get to see who's watching tonight. Not a long show this evening, as I think we spent most of our time during June. And so uh, it's still a little bit busy around the McWilliams household. I'll tell you just a little bit about that. Really quickly, though... Uh, with everything, hi, Kristen, by the way. Hi, thank you for watching tonight. We need to have you back on, too. We need to talk some more Lulu and Hazel right here on BCP Live, so be prepared for that. Dottie, thank you for watching tonight. It was always good to see you and your family. Uh, I didn't see you at the last performance that I saw the rest of the family at, so Dottie, uh, let me know. I hope you did get to see Beauty and the Beast in some way. We'll talk about that and a little bit more tonight. Let me say really quickly first, I want to say thank you to all of the candidates who stopped by and we're on the broadcast here on BCP Live. Now, again, Mrs. Patriot definitely wanted me to, to make sure that uh, I let you all know we extended invitations to so many people. Not everyone had the opportunity to come on, and I understand that. That's fine. Uh, there are so many things to do over the course of a campaign season, and, and to stop by every single broadcast, it really is just no way. So I want to say thank you to all of the folks who stopped by, and I thought we had some really good visits with, with a lot of people here and got to, to learn a little bit about some of these candidates. Some of them are still in the running because there will be a runoff uh, for many of the offices uh, that were up for grabs, if you will, for a Republican nomination for state Senate and for U.S. Congress, different things like that. So the next election is going to be August 23rd. That is when the primary runoffs will be. And of course, there will be there will be early voting, so be ready for that. But the next election is August 23rd. Now, if you were not registered to vote yet, and one of the things that Vote 580, Kara Bird, uh, Madison Williams, lots of folks got things together, had one final opportunity for candidates to, candidates to speak here in Durant the Monday before the election. Well, they had opportunities for you to register too. Now, if you registered then, obviously you couldn't vote the very next day but you would be registered and prepared for the vote in November. So if you have not yet registered, I don't know if, even if you registered tomorrow, if you'd be ready for August election, but you could be, I'm sure, for November. But check that out. If you have not registered to vote yet, that's your seed. Folks, that's your opportunity to sow into government. Seriously. we. I'm sure that there are many things that every person who's watching us would like to see different in government, whether it be local, state, federal, whatever the case may be, but you don't have a lot of say. You may feel like you don't have a lot of say. Your vote is your seed. That is how you sow into this government, and we've talked about that before. You, you reap what you sow. So if you haven't sown anything, then it's tough to reap a harvest there. So you need to sow into those things. Well, Joey, I don't know if my vote's going to count or not. It always counts. counts as much as mine. Uh, sometimes there are more people that vote on one issue or for one side of an issue than, than for the side that I voted for. Sometimes it's the other way around, but still take the time to vote. And I want to also encourage you to pray and to study, and in that order, by the way, pray, study, learn about the candidates and the issues as well. And as we get closer to, to November and we learn a little bit more about some issues that may be on the ballot, other than just candidates that may be on the ballot, then we will talk about them here as well. Dottie, miss the show. Homesick. Man, I am sorry to hear that. Uh, you wanted to get to see Jenna and, and the others on stage. It was a wonderful season. Can't wait for 2023. Uh, I will go ahead and I'll, I'll talk about Oklahoma Shakespearean Fest now then. Again, not a long show tonight, but I want to give a shout out to the folks at Oklahoma Shakespearean Fest. I've been following this for a long, 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 long time. I remember when I was in college, there was Oklahoma Shakespearean Festival and didn't know much about it then. But as I've, I've been around Durant for longer, that it's become such a big deal. If you did not stop by and take an opportunity to visit or to, to see one of the shows, you really missed out because we have some great productions here in Durant. Now, full disclosure, Yes, my daughter and my son-in-law were on the cast and in the cast of more than one production. 
But here's the thing about that. They're good. They are very, very good. And I'm proud of them. I'm proud of Jenna Page. She does a fantastic job. She played Belle in Beauty and the Beast. And my son-in-law, Ben, played, uh, played the Beast, actually. So it was really pretty neat to get to see them both there. And they are heading back to Florida this week. So we're sad. They stayed with us during the time at Oklahoma Shakespearean Festival, and we were glad to get to see them. But they're headed back to Florida this week. So it's going to be a sad time around the McWilliams household. But we know we'll see them again sometime soon. Brina, thank you for watching tonight. I appreciate that. God bless you. Brina Dutton, who's been on the show recently, and she has a great, great organization, the Owen Foundation. You should check that out, theowenfoundation.com. All right, let's see. What else? We talked about the runoff, primary runoff, August 23rd. And, oh, hey, this week, Thursday, Zumba, free Zumba class at the library, Durant Library, Donald W. Reynolds Library in the Black Box Theater, a Zumba class, and that's free. So you need to check that out. Go to the libraries page, and you'll learn a little bit more about that, too. You can also learn more about the library, I believe, at Durant.org. So you can find that's one of our local uh, local establishments that has it's under the authority of the city. So keep that in mind. The month if June, the month of June is for OSF, has been for 30 years and counting in our family, Dottie says. Let me put that up there. And it really is. All five of my children have performed in Little Theater, the the children's theater at Oklahoma Shakespearean Festival at one point in time or another. My wife has actually performed. And she was the dragon in Shrek a few years back. So if you missed that, you missed out. I don't know. I think I'm the only person. Yeah, I'm the only person in our family that has not yet, maybe someday, Riley, if you're listening, maybe someday, uh, but has not yet performed at Oklahoma Shakespearean Festival. So we'll have to we'll have to sort that out and see how that works out. Anyway, all right. <clears throat> Yet, yes, Dottie, that is that is the appropriate word, yet. I'm sure there will be a time sometime. Okay, by the way, I broadcast sports, and that is the drinking game here on BCP Live. If you're watching Dr. Newsom, hope you had your beverage ready. It's, it's water. You can't see it, but it's in my nice little OSU alumni cup. I like that a lot. I also have a nice Southeastern alumni cup, too, by the way. But, uh, but Dr. Newsom, if you're watching, thank you for participating with me on that. I do broadcast sports, and I wanted to say thank you. I mentioned this, and I believe it was the night that we had uh, Cody Maynard on. And I, I think it was. Maybe in that night. Maybe it was Dustin Reed. They were both that week, and we it was. that We passed 1,000 subscribers on the Midwest Sports Net YouTube channel. We met the goal of a thousand subscribers, and I'm so incredibly stoked about that. I think it's really cool. I'm excited. Thank you to some of you. Some of you actually subscribed to the channel uh, because of the requests on on my end, and I have to tell you, um, I was stoked about that. I was thrilled, and I was thankful. And if you have not yet, please do subscribe. We have a lot of college football previews. We have a Southeastern Oklahoma State University football, college football preview, which is coming up either this week or next. And we just are, are locking in Coach Tyler Fenwick, who has already said he would be on the channel. So we're going to preview Southeastern football in just a little while. But we have some other things that are on tap for the channel uh, in the summer, but also into the fall. And I think you're going to like this. So if you're saying, well, Joey, I don't watch a lot of sports. Uh, maybe there might be something on there for you too. So keep that in mind. All right. Um, let's see one more thing here. Oh, time capsules, time capsule. We have the countdown on the Bryan County Patriot, bryancountypatriot.com. The countdown to the opening of the time capsule under the big peanut in Durant. So that is going to be in June of 2023. A time capsule was also unearthed this past week in Caddo. Caddo has been celebrating its sesquicentennial all year long. Caddo officially is 150 years old in December. And so it's been a 150th year celebration all year long. Had a great day out at Caddo on Saturday. We stopped by and they celebrated uh, the unearthing and the opening of the time capsule. Now, it didn't get actually opened on July 4th. It was opened just a little bit earlier than that. But 
by July 2nd, which was a great celebration. Unfortunately, the, the brass quintet did not get to come to town. There were a couple of members of the brass quintet, the U.S. Army brass quintet, that was scheduled to perform in Caddo, did not get to be there. There were a couple of members that had COVID, and so they didn't get to come. But it was a, a big day, had lots of activity going on throughout Caddo uh, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. More is on the way. And I want to give a big shout-out to Vesta Baker. She has been writing stories about the, the sesquicentennial events that have been going on, and she's done a fantastic job. We've had the opportunity here on the Bryan County Patriot to – publish some of those stories and I just want to say thank you to Vesta and I know that documenting this year is a big deal too and she's done a great job of that so I just wanted to uh, definitely give a shout out to her all right I think that is it now flying solo tonight because I have my pen here and I, I enjoy having my pen ready to do whatever I need to do with my pen flying solo tonight but that's not the case the rest of the month so be sure to tune in I'm always hesitant and again, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I'm hesitant to say exactly who on what days because things happen sometimes that are just out of control of the people who are going to be on the show. And I don't want them to feel bad if I said, hey, you're going to be on the show, and then something happened, they couldn't be on the show. This is local. I mean, we're right here. We're, we're in Bryan County. We're in southeastern Oklahoma. We're, we're in southern Oklahoma. And I can say southern without the R, Okay. We're here in southern Oklahoma, and things happen. So I don't want anyone to feel bad about not being able to be on the show for whatever the reason uh, if something comes up at the last moment. So I'm, I'm really hesitant to say in advance. But I will tell you, there are other guests on the way, and you need to watch the shows the rest of the month of July. Happy Independence Day, one day late. Lots of fireworks all around Bryan County last night, watching them from all different directions. We were in North Bryan County, and uh, we were at Whoville one night. Uh, we were back at the house uh, uh, later on in the night, saw fireworks all around, great presentations, and I just want to say happy 246th birthday to the United States of America. It is without question the greatest country in the world, and I want to keep it that way. I want to say thank you to everyone, everyone who has given of their time as a member of our armed forces, whether it be overseas, whether it be at home. Uh, veterans of many wars to provide freedom and the opportunity for me to get to sit here in Studio B and tell you how thankful I am. I am so thankful for you and for all that you've given, for the families of those who have served so diligently throughout the years of this country. Thank you so much for what you've done. It means so much to me. It means so much to Mrs. Patriot. It means so much to our family. We are grateful for you. And what a, what a blessing it is. What an absolute blessing it is to live in this country. And I appreciate so much the, the freedoms I have. I, I realize that these things are always under assault, and, and please don't think that they're not. The freedoms that you enjoy are always under assault, and we need to keep working hard to have the freedoms that we have. But I just want to say thank you to all those things. So all those people who have served and to their families who have sacrificed time with their loved ones who have given of themselves to be a part of service to this country. Thank you so much, and God bless you and your family for your service. Okay, that's it for the night. A shout-out to Brina, shout-out to Kristen, to Dottie, and to anyone else who's still watching. Listen, if you're watching this live, thank you for watching. Still just a little bit more time to, to uh, tell me if you're watching or where you're, from where you're watching, because I'm going to give our close tonight. If you are... If this is a, the, the, the day after, if you're watching this on a Thursday or a Wednesday or a Friday and you're still watching at this point in the show, thank you. That's, that's a real blessing. You're a trooper. I appreciate that. All right. Let me remind you this really quickly as pen is in hand and I'm ready to wrap this thing up for the night. Please do three things for me. Be wise. Be wise. Walk in wisdom. If you don't feel like you have enough wisdom? Guess what? You can find that wisdom. God said he'd give it to you. In James 1, chapter 5, he said, If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, and he would give it to all men, liberally, generously, and without finding fault. So be wise. Number two, walk in love. Sometimes it's easier than others, but I promise you it's worth it. And look, we're all going through something. I just wanted to, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Everyone is going through something. Everyone is dealing with something. 
And if somebody has a, a faraway look on, on his or her face, they may be going through something that's running through their mind right then, be patient, be kind, love them. You just never know what is going on in their lives. So be a blessing to those people. And finally, do not walk in fear. The national media is going to give you many opportunities to be afraid of something. I encourage you not to be to walk in fear. That doesn't mean that you don't have respect for a situation. Of course, have respect for situations. Understand that there are things going on. These are trying times. I'm 51. I, all of my life I've heard these are trying times. So these are trying times. But that having been said, they're not times that we need to be afraid of everything that's going on around us. So do not walk in fear. Be wise, walk in love, do not walk in fear. I always say it in that order, but I don't know if that's necessarily the right order or not. doesn't matter. And remember, like uh, Dottie said, the month of June is OSF, so be ready for that. Next year should be a lot of fun. Thank you again for everyone watching tonight. God bless you. Looking forward to getting a visit with guests or guests, as the case may be, next Tuesday night. In the meantime, for all of us here, for Mrs. Patriot and, and my family, for allowing me to come in here and uh, get to speak to you tonight. God bless you. Seriously, thank you. Keep watching the Bryan County Patriot. And it's a great place to advertise too. Lots of good folks out there who are advertisers on this, this website. I almost said this YouTube channel. Well, we'll see. That's uh, lots of great folks out there. And you know what? The thing about that is this. I, I know I closed, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to say one more thing. The, the, the folks who advertise on the Bryan County Patriot not only are blessings, uh, it's, it's great. I appreciate that. Keeps the business going. We're very thankful to our advertisers, but these are local folks. I, we, we don't have a, a lot of advertisers from, uh, from big, we have a couple, a couple of, of, of like big national names, but for the most part, these are our local folks. These are our Oklahoma folks. These are our people who, you know what? These are the people who put green shamrocks up in his emojis, places like shamrock bank, chase and Manis. Boy, your timing is perfect, sir. I appreciate that. So the, uh, the the green shamrock emojis making an appearance here just as we're closing out tonight. That's an Oklahoma bank, and it's run by Oklahoma people. So there you go. There, and, and you know what? Normally, I don't always you know give a, a specific advertiser shout-out, but I have to do it right there. An Oklahoma bank, it's run by Oklahoma folks. So And that's who our advertisers are. And I, I know every one of them. I get to visit with every single one of them personally. And I am so grateful for all of our advertisers. They're great folks, and they're local folks. And I encourage you, check out the BryanCountyPatriot.com. And if you're looking at a desktop or a laptop, a tablet, and, and those advertisers are on the right-hand side of the screen there, check them out and stop by their businesses. You're not going to be disappointed. I, I don't, there's, there's not a single place on there that you can look at that business. You go by, you, you're not going to be disappointed by any single one of them and they're good local folks, so please check them out. All right, thank you to all the sponsors and our advertisers here. Uh, the the BS, BCP Live is always a free show. You know, we, we don't have a sponsor necessarily for this show, but for the BryanCountyPatriot.com, we're so grateful for all of, those, all of those sponsors and all of those individual people. So, Jason, God bless you, man. Thanks for showing up. Dottie, happy evening to you as well, and we will shut it down now. Be wise, walk in love, do not walk in fear. God bless you. Have a great night.